With most everyone staying in this year, cities around the world have seen dramatic changes in outdoor air quality. In April, the Himalayas became visible for the first time in decades, and skylines across the globe have become a little bit clearer. <sighs> so, with all this time indoors, baking bread and homeschooling the kids, how's the air quality in your own home? Pull up a seat because class is starting. It's time for Indoor Air Quality 101. But before we start, like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube, right there. You'll get two new videos of juicy new content every week. We cover everything from honest reviews on security systems to assorted ways to make your home feel safer and more comfortable. Mm, I can smell the facts already. Let's get started. Indoor air quality, or IAQ, is another way of talking about the purity of the air in your house. And trust me, it doesn't have to look like LA rush hour to have an effect on your health. For those with existing respiratory issues like asthma or moderate to severe allergies, bad indoor air can feel like a bad cold. It can cause sneezing, coughing, irritation in your eyes, nose, and throat. It's no fun. If you're exposed to poor air quality for long enough, it can also cause headache, fatigue, and dizziness. Airborne pollutants like asbestos, radon, and tobacco smoke can have some serious long-term effects, like lung cancer or heart disease. Basically, clean indoor air leads to happier, healthier lungs for you and everyone in your family. Outdoor air pollution comes from things like car exhausts, factories, and wood smoke. So, where does the indoor stuff come from? Bad air quality comes from common allergens like pet dander, dust mites, pollen, and mold, as well as some unexpected places, like leftover particles from cooking, new furniture or carpeting, household aerosols, or your own HVAC system. And then there's the heavy hitters. Asbestos, radon, carbon monoxide, and tobacco smoke can lead to some serious long-term health issues. Bad indoor air quality is pretty scary, but the good news is you can fix it with the right tools, plenty of cleaning, and some good habits. Chores like vacuuming, dusting, and doing the laundry aren't just for keeping your house looking good. Integrating them into your normal routine can lower the amount of pet dander in the air, keep the dust from settling, and keep the dust mite populations down. Ew. All those little allergens build up fast, so be sure to try and clean at least once a week to keep your air fresh. Next, form good habits. If you smoke or vape, take it outside. Then, run the ceiling fans to circulate air throughout the rooms of your home. And finally, open the windows on nice breezy days. Adding some fresh air to your house will help clear all that gross stuff out. Keep that airflow a flowing. Keeping air circulating around your home, whether it's through a fan or an open window or an air purifier, can keep that gross stuff from settling. Speaking of air purifiers, check out our best air purifiers review on safewise.com to see our top picks. And for the more serious stuff like radon or asbestos, you can find home testing kits that can help you determine how much is actually in the air in your home. Keep your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors healthy too. Carbon monoxide becomes dangerous when a carbon-based fuel like natural gas is burned in a small area like your basement or garage. Not to mention that carbon monoxide is literally deadly in higher doses. The air in our homes is just as vulnerable as the air outside. With a few mindful habits and the right tools, you can keep your air clean and breathe a little easier inside. Go to safewise.com to check out our full guide on how to improve your indoor air quality. We cover things like what is IAQ, what affects it, and how can you improve it in your own home. And don't forget to like and subscribe to safewise.com for more videos like this one. We are coming out with two every week. And if you have any ideas for things you want to see on our channel, drop a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Stay safe.